Yo guys, this is Kaiser, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to explain you how Weapon Mastery works and something you may not know about, the new critical passive pass. As you know, actually, by using a melee weapon, you can get some passive pass, you can get control resistance and critical weapon attack magnitude. But for ranged weapons, you don't get anything. Okay, so now, if we go to Weapon Mastery description, for example 100, and we read it, it says that it requires 20 points and then some combos, air launch, spin shot, hit slash, focus blast, and it says, Pulsation 100 Mastery causes required attack to hit for increased damage. Okay, so all these combos are going to hit for more damage just for mastering 100. And it says also permanently increases critical, critical strike damage and resistance to control effects while using 100. But it doesn't say for how much. Okay, so many testers were trying to figure out this number and finally they got it. And it is, if you are using a melee weapon, it's going to increase your critical weapon attack magnitude for 5%. And if you are using a ranged weapon, it's going to increase your critical weapon attack magnitude for 20%. And about the control effects, if you are using a melee weapon, it's not going to increase anymore because you already have a 25% control resistance for using a melee weapon, but if you are using a ranged weapon, this time it's going to increase your control resistance by 25%. By doing this, we are trying to equal both type of weapons, melee and ranged. But this is not all. There are more passive paths regarding weapon mastery. For example, if you use a weapon mastery combo and after that you use successfully a power in the correct timing, you will get a boost on your critical attack chance and critical attack damage. About the critical attack chance, you will get a boost of a 360%. This is 3.6 times your current critical attack chance. For example, if your current critical attack chance is 5%, it's going to be multiplied by 3.6. So in real, your critical attack chance is going to be 18. But about the critical attack damage, we don't know the number. We just know that the longer the weapon mastery combo is, the higher this number is. And also, if you get all the critical attack chances in mates from, from all the 11 trees, you are going to have a 28% critical chance. So if you use a weapon mastery with this base critical attack chance, it's going to be increased by 360%. So in real, it's going to be multiplied by 3.6. So if we multiply this 28% critical attack chance by 3.6, it's more than 100. This means that if we get all the innates, all the critical attack chances innates and use weapon mastery, we are going to make sure that we are always going to crit after using weapon mastery. And this is very important. Now I'm going to explain how to use Weapon Mastery successfully and for doing this I'm going to use in this case Brawling into Martial Arts. So we first go to the Brawling tree and we read the description. It says that it requires 20 points in Brawling and some combos, in this case Black Fist, High Maker and Stomp Smash. We don't need to get all the weapon combos, we just need to get these ones. So we get Black Fist and we get High Maker. Then we need to spend 20 points. So we start getting the innates. We first go for the critical attack damage and critical attack chances. And then we go for the second row of innates and get, in this case, might. And then we go for the first row of innates and we get help. Until we get 20 points and we are able to get this one, the Brawling Mastery. Once we are able to get the Brawling Mastery, we can get the combos. And the third row of innates, which are the most powerful. Okay, so, but for getting the weapon mastery combos, you need to get a mastery in the weapon. So we need to go to martial arts and master martial arts. I already have mastered martial arts and it's the same process. We read the description and we get the combos it says. After getting the combos, we are able to get the brawling weapon mastery combos into martial arts and we are ready to go. So now after getting our weapon mastery combos ready, I'm going to use it. The combo I'm going to use is Brawl into Martial Arts the Hold Hold combo. So let's try and make it. We hold and we hold. We hold and we hold. Now let's try to use a skill after using the Weapon Mastery combo. You see that I didn't get any special 
boost or any special passive buff because I was too slow chaining the skill after the weapon mastery combo. If we chain the skill successfully, it should look like this. Okay, you see that there's like some surrounding aura and some kind of sound effect to tell us that we did it successfully. If you want to do it successfully, it's better if you check the cast bar of the weapon mastery combo. You check you check on the screen that there's a cast bar. And for using successfully your next skill, you need to wait until the 75%. You check the cast bar and you check 75%, then you use your next skill. Now I failed because I waited too long. But now let's try to make the 75%. Here we go. Now again. Now again. See? It's pretty easy. Once you practice a little bit with it, it will become natural, so don't worry. So this is all. I hope you like it. Find this helpful. And please don't forget to leave your comment and subscribe. See you soon.